What's up YouTube, it's Sofan from TechCycle. In this video, I'm going to share you guys a method to revert back to stock ROM without losing the internal storage. So let's jump into this. So if you are using custom ROM, usually your data is decrypted. So by installing the stock ROM, your data get encrypted automatically, forcing you to wipe the internal storage. So making you to lose all the internal storage so you need to make a backup of all that storage but by following this guide you are not going to lose any of the internal storage you are going to completely get all that data back and with the stock form also so first of all make sure you watch this video till the end because if you miss any step i will not be responsible also i will not be responsible for if you lose any data so make sure you have a backup but I'm pretty sure because I tried this two times and it's working perfectly. I will not be responsible for any data loss. So that's a disclaimer. So make sure that you follow this guide completely. First watch this video till the end. And second watch follow the guide step by step. So for this installation of this stock ROM, the things you need are stock ROM. I'm using 5.0.7. Latest version is 5.0.8. You can download whatever version you want. I'm going to link all that in the description. You can download it from there. And the second one is that patched boot image of stock OS version. That is, I'm using the 5.0.7 version. If you want, if you are flashing 5.0.8, you can get that boot image. That is patched boot image. I will also leave the link of that in the description. Next, you need a force encryption disabler for Oreo version 2. I will also leave the link of that in the description. You can download it there. So after having all these three, that is the stock, patched boot image and this encryption disabler after that boot into dwrp and choose wipe advanced wipe and wipe your dalvi cache cache data and system don't wipe internal storage after that add over to install and install your stock rom that is os 5.0.7 in my case after the complete installation of that don't reboot to system just flash the boot image so choose install image and choose the, your patched boot image and choose the partition as boot and flash that boot image after that add over to reboot and reboot your device to recovery mode add over to mount section and mount your system and add over to advanced setup and on terminal type in the command df space system this is going to give you guys the free space on the system make sure that you have 100 megabyte of free space so if that is not uh, make sure that you have about at least 92 percent of that free space for me it is 94 percent so i need to delete some system files so add over to file manager system and choose the application folder and delete the drive folder and also the duo folder after that or down to install section and install this post encryption disabler oreo version 2 and reboot your system now you are going to successfully reboot into your stock chrome and you will have all that internal storage and intact that is all all the internal storage data will be there you will not lose any of the internal storage part so some of the issues you are going to face is that you are going to be in boot loop if you don't have that 100 megabyte of data so make sure that you have 100 megabyte of data on your system partition if not delete the drive duo chrome gmail that for application just delete that for application and now you will have plenty of space on your system partition just after that flash the post encryption disabler and reboot your device it is going to reboot back to normal also if you forgot to wipe your system data cache delete cache uh, will be rebooted back to WRP because the stock ROM is not going to get flashed completely so that's why you are going to get rebooted back to TWRP I faced that issue while making this tutorial as I forgot to wipe my system data catch and dalvi catch and after following this step completely and still I am booted back to recovery I am not bo booting into stock ROM I am only booting back to recovery then I found out that I forgot to wipe and I just wiped and followed the guide step again. Now my device is booting back to OOS. I'm going to show you guys that this is the device. This is the device. So that's all about 
reverting back to stock ROM from a custom ROM without losing all the internal storage data. So thanks for watching guys. If you are having any doubt or if you are, if you are facing any issue, just comment down below. I will be there and I will be as, as soon as I get to read that comment. So that's all about this video guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.